Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today, I've got a yard that's full of weeds with very little grass and we're gonna see, talk to you about what we can do to turn this yard around. And I'm gonna talk to you what's been done and what needs to be done and what, uh, you know, to get this thing looking good. So, when you got a yard full of weeds like this, you got two problems. You got the existing weeds and then you got the weeds that are coming. Actually, another problem is, is you don't have much grass and that's probably the reason you got so many weeds. So very thin grass, existing weeds, and future weeds that are on their way. So in this situation, you've got cool season weeds that are present, warm season weeds that are coming. So Sorry, it's a big airplane flew over, it was a little bit loud. So we've got the existing cool season weeds. What I've done so far is spray a pre-emergent early in the year. So uh, sometime around January, and what I'm trying to do with that is just not let the crabgrass and stuff take over this summer. But you see that there's ex uh, tons of, of existing weeds, so I wanna spray a post-emergent to get rid of that. And then I wanna show you the existing grass that we have to work with and talk to you about just fertilizing that real heavy and getting that to spread. Now, a lot of times, you know, I'm in Alabama and we have warm season grasses and this is the way we approach it. Oftentimes we, we just fertilize and try to get the spread. You can plug some sod, you can add more sod, you can sod the whole thing over, you know, but um, a lot of times in, in the cool season grass here, you know, a lot of times what they do is just overseed. But a lot of the grass types we use here can't be grown for seed. For instance, I'm using this 419 Bermuda. It has a sterile seed. I can't grow it from seed. Now I can get other Bermuda seeds, but I want to try to get the, the 419 to spread. And the good thing is it spreads very fast when it gets hot and when you fertilize it aggressively, which is what I plan to do. So let's take a look at existing yard and then we'll get to, to spraying and talk to you about that. Okay, obviously it looks terrible. Every weed in the book and uh, huge bare spots. But I want to show you that there is some Bermuda grass here. So if you'll look here, that's the Bermuda grass. So that's what we're going for. But there, there's not a whole lot of it. Now there's, you know, you get over here and you can see, look here, there's there's some Bermuda and you can see where it, it's making attempts to spread. And this is being filmed during the spring. So in the summer, it'll really spread a lot. There's more Bermuda. Over here is a, uh, you know, look, look at this. This is uh, mostly Bermuda. So it could be a situation even where I, I take some plugs from this and spread it in the bare spots. But right now there's so many weeds that I just need to get the weeds under control so I can see how much, or in this case, how little Bermuda I actually have. And then um, start plugging the sod and fertilizing it and seeing if we can get it to, to spread and fill in in this. So. In this situation, I'm going to be spraying with my um, with a right on spreader sprayer here, and I've got Change Up is a product that I use sometimes. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. But uh, you, you know, it sometimes people get sticker shock on some of these products, so they don't understand they go a long way. So I bought bought this as a two and a half gallon jug. I think it's two hundred something dollars, but you can get a smaller. Um, bottle of it if you're just using it for spot treating. So for spot treating, you know, I typically mix one ounce in a gallon of water. But uh, in this situation, with this right on spreader sprayer, it'll sprays about uh, a quart per thousand square feet. So this 12 gallon tank will cover a little over an acre. And I just put uh, 12 ounces of uh, change up in this tank. So a, 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 actually a very low rate. And it's, and it's more than enough to, uh, as far as 12, 12 gallons in this sprayer, like I said, it's gonna cover more than an acre. This is not an acre that I'm gonna be spraying here. It's less than an acre. So I've got plenty in here, but I, I can use it later on uh, the yards. A lot of times what I'll do is when I'm fertilizing with this, I'll use it to spray the weeds as I fertilize. Even if it's just spot treating, I see a weed, I'll spray it with this machine while fertilizing. So we got some Bermuda to work with, got tons of weeds. Everweed, um, cool season weeds, warm season weeds, and uh, I'm afraid if you just leave it, that you know it's just, it's hard for the Bermuda to really spread if it's got so many weeds to compete with. So I'm okay if it looks really bare after killing this, which I imagine it will. I'm going to spray it. Sometimes people say, should you cut it first and then spray it, or should you spray it and then cut it? I don't think it makes a big difference, but in this situation, I'm going to spray it. It'll probably die, turn brown, then I'll probably mow it and see what, uh, how much Bermuda I have to work with. I'm wearing glasses and, and uh, 
rubber gloves for this application. You want to make sure you follow your safety procedures.
couple of things I want to mention. One, you know, when you're mowing grass, you can obviously tell where you've mowed because it's, it's the grass is shorter where you've already cut. When you're doing this, it's a little bit harder to tell where you've been, but you don't want to be overlapping your pattern uh, too much. So you got to pay attention. You got to pick a landmark um, ahead of you where you're going. Or sometimes in a situation like this where this, this weeds are real tall, you can actually see your tire tracks. But just paying attention and knowing how far of a, a width that your machine will spray or if you're hand spraying, same thing if you're, you're walking. And then there's some uh, plants that are desirable plants. You know, change up, this is very important. You don't have to use change up. There's a lot of products you can use, but you want to use a, a selective herbicide that will not damage the desired turf grass. You know, so this particular product change up is labeled for Bermuda grass and even though I don't have a lot of Bermuda grass there is some and that's what I want to not be damaged and then there were some uh, plants that we have planted out here and you can see that so I'm not going to get a hundred percent coverage in this situation because I stayed uh, a distance away from those desirable plants and I may have to go in there and, and spray with with a hand uh, handheld spray or something like that to be able to get close to those plants, you know, because I didn't want this this machine spraying such a, a mist that I didn't want it to, to have any drift getting on our desirable plants. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to check on this and see how it works and uh, we won't be able to, to continue the video all the way until this looks like nice Bermuda, but hopefully we can uh, do that in further videos. But I want to continue this video at least to show you the results we got from this application. So we'll check back soon. All right, let's give a uh, update on the progress of the weed control here. It's been about a day and a half since I did the application. So I sprayed it, uh, not yesterday, but the afternoon, the day before in the afternoon. And this is uh, morning time of not the day after spraying, but the next day. So anyway, day and a half later, let's check out the results of the chain, uh, using change up on these weeds. Maybe I mentioned this already. I can't remember what I said the other day, but the, you know, the warmer the weather, basically the faster it's gonna work and you know we've been up in the 70s so I expected to get some pretty quick results but you can basically see you know the like how the leaves are turning upside down a lot of curling action honestly I could start to see this the, the day of the application just a few hours later but you see you know how the, the, they just start curling up and and you can see the grass right here. That's the Bermuda grass. It's it's not, you know, pretty much not going to be phased by application. So it, it it's just some twisting and curling, and you can see all these uh, plants. Now it's not going to do much to like things like this, like the onions and stuff. It won't pretty much have no effect on those. And some of the other grassy weeds out here probably won't do anything. Like I don't know what what kind of grassy weed this is but most likely not going to touch that but definitely did a number on pretty much all the broad leaves and what we're going to do is continue to watch it and uh you know see see how long it takes to continue killing the weeds let me show you what they look like you, know, you see the ones that have been treated here's some that are that are not treated so you can see you know the how these are, are curling up and then over here some that were not treated of course they still look fine so not a lot of discoloration mostly just twisting and curling so we'll check on it again later let's get an update on the progress of killing these weeds it's been about three and a half days since we first did the application let's see what the progress looks like between the, the weeds that have been treated and the untreated weeds as you can see how, how well it's working. We are with the un, untreated weed. You see healthy and green and very tall. It's hard to tell how, how tall these are, but they're actually about a foot tall. Of course, these onions are about two foot tall. And as you go over here and start looking at the some of the same weeds, you can see how it really starting to show some signs you know you can see this that it's not only wilting but you're starting to see a lot of discoloration see how yellow that looks it's just wilted over Let's see if i can find one so for instance let me get this one that's untreated versus treated You 
you can see this one here has, has not been sprayed with the change up and the one same plant beside it is turning very yellow and again i used a pretty much a low rate of, of change up you can go to a higher rate i don't think it's necessary but i use uh, 10 ounces per acre which is is definitely below the max rate that you could use so we'll keep checking on it i'm gonna probably let it go a little bit longer and then eventually uh, mow it and once i mow it I, you know, again i don't think most of this is going to come back check back soon all right let's check on the final results that we're going to show from cleaning up the weeds in this particular part of the lawn and you know it's been i believe it's been nine days since the initial application and as i said before you know we went in with a little bit of a, a light rate on the change up but the results are are good i'm going to show you what the untreated area looks like versus the part that has been sprayed again the product we were using was called change up you you can pick a, pro, a different product that that's labeled for your grass type and for the weeds you're trying to control and i want to show you some of the weeds that were not affected by the treatment maybe i should start with the untreated weeds and you can see these are probably over a foot tall and doing quite well and growing actively and then you look at the, the area that has been sprayed and and i think if you know if we let this go on for another week or so it'd be continue to be more discoloration but um what seems to be happening is is they turn yellow they stop growing and what typically happens is you just mow the lawn and they don't grow back you know but there's not a whole lot of grass here there is actually a little bit of grass that was buried in the weeds this is bermuda grass which is what we're trying to grow and you can see how the the weeds are just turning yellow and wilting start uh, stop growing so if we run a lot more over this um they, they won't come back and then they're gonna continue dying out i just don't want to drag the video out any longer than it's necessary but i wanna, did want to show you you know and i think it's worth showing you know it, it, it didn't really have an effect on the bermuda grass but you can see these grassy weeds here and that just shows that the change up had very little effect on those if any so it's more for um, taking care of a lot of the broadleaf weeds but not the grassy weeds so again here's some that were were untreated so but just some basics on weed control it's, it's easier oftentimes to prevent weeds with a pre-emergent application than it is to get rid of the existing weeds with a post-emergent application but in this situation had a lot of existing weeds i want to show you how one product can clean up a lot of the weeds in this lawn and wanted to do that so that the desired turf grass in this case bermuda would have room to spread and we can start fertilizing and getting it to grow in i appreciate you watching the video i'm jason creel there's over 500 videos on the channel about lawn care things so you can check those out i encourage you to subscribe to the channel and if you're in lawn care business i've got some resources available for you over at lawncarelife.com talk to you later bye